Welcome back to our Supernatural Life Network. This next story is Christy and Paul's, and it happened while they were living in Laverne, California in 2012. May you enjoy this story. My husband Paul and I live next to Steve, and we have for many years, and until now, we've hardly ever spoken, except for an occasional wave when we cross paths directly. This is LA after all. Steve's a retired Marine. One morning, out of the blue, he stops Paul and asks if we can please keep an eye on his older brother Merlin during the day while he's at work because he's just been diagnosed with stage four liver cancer and is gonna be undergoing chemotherapy and will be staying with Steve during his treatment. We're happy to, but honestly, we love helping, but I'm a little afraid of losing him. As we get to know Merlin, we discover that he's kind of the black sheep of the family. His family is very successful, all of them doing well financially. They all settled down, but Merlin marched to the beat of his own drum, literally. Back in the day, folks were old fashioned. Merlin, to the disapproval of his parents, becomes a musician, a drummer back in the 60s. He never married, but from what we understand, he was in love with a woman, but she sadly passed away. He played with the Doobie Brothers, writing songs with Michael McDonald at the Bullium in Pomona, a popular bowling alley back in the day. He lived a very interesting life in the fast lane with wine, women, and song. The family had pretty much disowned him long ago, but now that he's sick, it provides him the time to rekindle their relationship, and they're making up for the lost time. Michelle, my new friend, instructs me on what herbs cool his body down from the heat of the chemotherapy and stops the inflammation. So we often added them to my sister Janet's amazing recipe and pneumonia cure of roasted chicken and 15 roasted vegetable soup, with his doctor's approval, of course. He's doing so well. He's getting great reports and sleeping all night for the first time in years. One day I took some soup over for him and Steve. Steve's wife asked for the recipe. Merlin doesn't look well at all. He and Steve are in his trailer watching a movie. I asked, what are you guys watching? They both light up like Christmas trees and in unison say, The Lonesome Dove. They explain how they love this movie so much. How they'd watched it many, many times together. It's an epical western saga where a man's best friend goes bad and he has to kill him. But out of love, he carries his remains on horseback across the country and fights enemies the whole way just to give his friend a proper burial. They invite me to watch it with them, but I don't want to impose and leave the soup with them and go home, saying prayers for Merlin all the way. I'm really worried after seeing him. A week later, Steve calls and asks us if we can look in on Merlin, that he's unfortunately in hospice care and he must go out of town on an emergency. We're visiting him every day until Steve returns. And even as ill as he is, as he was, we noticed he was still admiring the beautiful ladies, the nurses. He's still got it. After a few days, Merlin is released and comes home. Sadly, about two weeks later, Merlin passes away. Steve calls to let us know and invite us to the funeral. It's a great honor considering before this, we hardly even knew either of them. When we hang up the call, Paul goes out to the backyard to sit and process the very sad news. After a minute, Paul comes in and says, come out here and check out this dove. He's talking to me. It's like he's trying to tell me something. I go out back and this dove is sitting on the fence post, cooing away, and he's desperately trying to tell us something. He keeps cooing at us looking at us right in the eye and cooing away. We've never seen this before. It's Merlin and the lonesome dove, Paul. The lonesome dove, I say. Paul and I debated if we should say anything to Steve about it or not. Some people are funny about this kind of stuff, but at the funeral, he and the whole family are so sad. I can't stand watching them reel in pain, knowing there's more beyond all of this and they will see him again. And after the encounter with the dove, I know that Merlin wants them to know it. I have to say something. So I decide to pull Steve aside and tell him what has happened. Hopefully, it will give them some comfort in this time of grief. I can tell he's skeptical, and rightly so. He's very nice about it, of course. 
It doesn't sink in, at least not at first. But a couple of days later, Steve knocks on our front door. He leans in and says, I just want you to know that the other day after the funeral, I was so devastated, I poured myself a glass of bourbon and went out back to mourn my brother by myself. Do you know that damn dove came over and sat right on the table and cuckooed at me for 20 minutes and did not leave? He has tears in his eyes when he says it. Now he is a believer too. Steve is as stoic and brave as they come. Marines don't cry every day. It isn't just serendipity. It is supernatural. Thank you, Merlin. You truly are a blessing for us all. Merlin the Magician, keep on working your miracles. We'll never forget you. To this day, whenever we have the luxury of seeing a dove, or when we think of you and Steve and that miraculous dove, we're reminded that there is more beyond what we see every day, even though we cannot see it and do not understand it. Merlin and the dove are heroes in my book for coming back and letting us know. Doves symbolize the Trinity, specifically the Holy Spirit. As when the Spirit descended on Jesus in the form of a dove at his baptism and never left. Merlin, lever, nef. Doves embody union, happiness, purity, gentleness, devotion, hope, peace, and faith. They are the symbol of the highest form of relationship. Little did we know that our relationship with Merlin would be everlasting. If you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. If you have a story you'd like to get off your chest, we'd love for you to share it on our channel. Check the links in the description to share a story. Until next time, keep an open eye.